All right, it's that time again. Time for the May pickups. Um, at the end of April's, I said I probably wouldn't get that much stuff, and uh, either for good or for bad, I was sorely mistaken, because I spent way too much this month. So, I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I picked up in Phoenix uh, during Comic-Con, uh, which was this past weekend. But I got Kylo Ren, San Diego exclusive, uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and Celebration, I think, and maybe something else. I think it was available at three places. But the unique thing is it comes with a Vader melted helmet, the First Order stand. I think I paid $40 for that, so not the worst. $5 pickup. R2-D2 Naboo Escape. That means I'm down to two Power of the Jedi toys that I need left. Um, it's the Chewbacca with the chess table and something else that I can't remember right now. And then we've got the Walgreens exclusive C-3PO. Only one twenty-five 25 bucks. I'd spend that in gas looking for him more, so I gladly purchased him. And then, so those are the only, oh wait, those aren't the only three things I got at Comic-Con itself. I got, I picked up the Kanan hardcover. Um, it's all the Kanan Marvel ones, and I got it signed by Mark Brooks, who is the gentleman who did the cover art. So really cool. I think I paid 25-ish for that. And then I paid full retail for a copy of Thrawn. Um, I want to get into all the Canon books, but it's going to take a while, but Timothy Zahn was there and he signed it for me, which is really awesome, so I'm really happy with that. Slide those off to the side. All right, and then my buddy was in Disneyland over the past weekend and had him get me the Droid Factory 4 Astromech pack. Um, they all are from, all, they are, they all, I can't even talk right now. They are from the Clone Wars. I actually really like that one. I think it's pretty cool with his like drink tray from Java Sail Barge thing. All right, and then these are a combination of um, something I picked up, or my buddy picked up two of them for me and I found the other three. So now we're down to one, is the old wave two of the Black Series. Unfortunately, I'll try to show you on one that's really bad. Uh, oh, the Stormtroopers are worse than these last one I picked up. The bubbles are like, got a lot of shelf wear on them. Um, the way we found them is they were on the top shelf above all the pegs and they were laying face first like this. So I almost missed them. My buddy actually spotted them for me. So that was really cool. I'm going to, I might even do a video if it works, but I'm pretty sure I can get the bubble, um, scratches and scrapes off with like rubbing compound and a microfiber towel. So that might happen soon. Um, another thing that I got uh, last weekend, it was on my birthday. So my sister got me a Krennic shuttle, which is cool. So I'll got to build that eventually someday. I still haven't built the, uh, the TIE fighter um, from the ultimate collector's TIE fighter that I've had since, oh, I don't know, last, I think I, I bought it a year ago. And then, I have to venture to the other side of the room. This eBay, we got a ton of stuff here. All right, so I opened most of it already, like, and we'll see. But I opened most of it just because, uh, to make it quicker, because this video would be like an hour long otherwise. But the only comic book I got this week, or this month, Walking Dead 167. And then I picked up the hardback Force Awakens for 11 bucks, not bad. Can't complain there. And then to, not to complete, but to catch up on my uh, three and three quarter inch current Black Series line, there's a new wave with Ponda Baba and Prototype Fett and some others just came out, is the A New Hope Princess Leia. I almost called her the New Hope Carrie Fisher, which I guess I'm not wrong. And then from eBay, that was from eBay. I ended up winning her for like 13 or 14 bucks. Shipped. Something like that. Not too crazy. Most of them are buying now for at least 20. 
staying current with my Builder Droid series, the carded ones at least, is the uh, R3DO. Someday I might go and get all the pieces of the Builder Droids. And like, but I just don't know how I display them. That's my biggest hang up on acquiring all those. And then everyone's favorite chopper. And then, like, we needed another pair of these, but got the uh, Droid Factory 2 pack in the name of staying complete. Oh, and then I got the last Force Awakens figure I needed. Helmetless Kylo Ren, which means I can do a video of that complete wave. Or line, I guess. And then something... This is like... I wanted to, like, figure out a new camera angle here or something. I'm running out of room. There we go. Um, another package. This is from Entertainment Earth. I have a link in, my, in all of my videos uh, to Entertainment Earth. So usually if you see me open a case of something or I pre-ordered something... It's almost always through Entertainment Earth. Um, the prices are good. They have a price match guarantee. So there's been times where I've bought it, and then like uh, it's been cheaper through, say, like Big Bad Toy Store, and you email them a link, and they refund you the difference, which is really cool. And their packaging is good. All right, so three, three of the last four Rogue One figures in existence. Which is uh, Galen or so, Admiral Radis, and I guess technically this means my Rogue One three and three quarter inch line is complete for single carded figures because there's only one more from this wave that I didn't get because I didn't have available, which is Finn Rao, and uh, he's technically Rebels Clone Wars, Rebels final answer. All right, and then I think I alluded to this in the last video. But I did get my uh, Vader Legacy Stand. I got that from, I want to say, either Hasbro or Toys R Us's eBay page. And then, I don't remember if I showed these last time. I'm pretty sure I didn't have these, but I'll show them anyways. I got two more 6-inch vintage carded R2s. I um, found them at Best Buy, actually. And I am going to either trade, I'm going to trade them um, you know, on like a Facebook group or something to try to get either the Chewy I'm missing or if I could trade both of them for like a Celebration Luke. I don't know if that's possible, but now I get to put all this away. And then I usually do room updates every six months and it's usually December and June or maybe January and July. Either way, I'm getting ready to do that soon, too, so you guys can see how everything is going. But thanks for watching. I am out.